Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can export all of your SharePoint list item into PDF using Power Automate. I have already created a flow and uh, for this one, you require OneDrive for business. And as you can see, I have a folder export to PDF. This is blank as of now. And when I run my flow, it should create a PDF out of this list items. Our flow started. And you can see that uh, our flow is successful as well. So I'll go to my OneDrive for business. The test.pdf is created there. If I just zoom in, you can see all of these uh, list items are here in my PDF. You can download this PDF as well and can run this into your uh, local machine as well. Let's talk about how I have done this one. I'll clear this folder and uh, we'll create a new flow. Instant flow with the name of list to PDF. We'll manually trigger this one and the flow started. First step we have to add is get items. SharePoint get items. As you know, my site name is dev and the list name is sales. So I'll go to my dev site. List name will be sales. In case you require any filter on these uh, item from list, you can apply your filter query here as well. I want all the list items, so I'll uh, keep this as it is. Next step I'm going to do is uh, data operation. Select command. Select action uh, from get items value. I will map key to value here. So I will map all these list item values with the key what I want to provide. So key will be like my column names and uh, the value will be these column values, right? So I will map this by first I will say order ID, next I will say title. Then we have item type sales channel. Item type sales channel order priority and order date. Order priority. Or a date and then I'll map with the list item value so order ID will be order ID then title will be get items title item type is item type Sales channel will be sales channel. Order priority and order date. And that's all. The next step is uh, again data operation. Create HTML table from output of the select it will create an HTML table and in case you want to apply a custom columns name you can do that I will choose the automatic one because I've already done that into a select one next step will be to create a HTML file first into my OneDrive for business then I can convert that HTML file into PDF one so for that one I have already created a export to PDF folder into my OneDrive and now I'll go here I will say create file OneDrive for business create file folder path will be export to PDF file name will be test dot 
HTML and uh, file content will be our create HTML table output this one so the file is created with all the content that HTML table has now we have to convert this into PDF then we'll say convert file we'll select the ID of the file convert this into PDF which is already selected once this is converted we have to create a file again into the same locations so we'll say OneDrive for business create file folder path will be export to PDF then file name will be convert file file name and file content will be convert file file content this is it so we have done this we'll save our flow and you can see it is giving me one warning because I have not uh, used the OData filter. That's fine. And first we'll check our export to PDF is blank. And now I'll test my flow manually. Continue. Run flow. Done. Our flow is running. It is completed. We'll go to our export to PDF. And you can see all of your list item is exported here. And now you can download this if you need this offline. In case you're looking this to be sent out to your email ID, you can add an send to email option and can send it directly to your email as well one thing is as you can see uh, this particular list has six column and it's fitting into this particular pdf fine what happened if we have more than 10 columns or if we have 15 to 20 columns in that case we have to change the orientation of our pdf uh, to landscape so that we can fit more columns but one of the disadvantage with this technique is we cannot change this PDF orientation so this is one of the issue we have although what you can do is you can apply some HTML formatting to this PDF to make your uh, font size change and in case you want uh, to add any colors or anything else you want to do you can do that as well by applying one or two step here using the HTML template that's all from my end for this video I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.